Benefits and Origins of the Avocado Avocados have proven themselves as a staple food in many households all over the world because they are versatile, delectable, and healthy. Although there is still disagreement about whether avocados are fruits or vegetables, they are actually categorized as berries by science. They are members of the same plant family as the cinnamon tree, Loraceae. These delectable berries, which are indigenous to Mexico and Central America, are grown all over the world, including in North America. With more than 5,000 farms producing more than 400 million pounds of avocados yearly, California is the country's top avocado producer. In traditional Mexican, Central American, and South American cuisines, these fruits are used in dishes such as guacamole, salads, tacos, and more. Due to their great nutritional value and myriad health benefits, avocados are popular in the health and wellness industry. Before we continue, please subscribe to this channel so that we can create more content like this, sharing knowledge on Latin America. Mexico, an avocado-producing powerhouse. Since the U.S. banned imports of avocados from Mexico in 1997, Mexican avocados have fed America's insatiable thirst for the fruit. Due to worries that pests like seed weevils would ruin American crops, the Department of Agriculture lifted an import ban enacted in 1914. At the time, over 90% of the avocados consumed in the U.S. came from Southern California. As of 2018, Americans consume approximately 8 pounds of avocado per capita, up from 2 pounds in 2001. Due to the popularity of avocados and the scarcity of local sources, Mexican avocados now dominate the American avocado market. Presently, almost 80% of the 60 million pounds of avocados consumed weekly north of the border come from Mexico, specifically the Mexican state of Michoacan which is the only state permitted to export the crop to the United States. As the largest producer of avocados in the world, Mexico produces over one-third of the world's avocados. In 2017, exports to the U.S. generated more than $2.8 billion, 2.47 billion euros, and directly or indirectly employed 300,000. Avocados are often referred to as green gold because of their high prices on the global stage. It is estimated that Mexican avocado exports exceeded tequila and beer exports in 2021 with a value of about $3 billion. One avocado costs about $10 more than last year. During the embargo, which we'll discuss shortly, a box of the fruit cost about $60, up from $30. Only 1% of avocados consumed in the United States come from countries other than Mexico and the United States. Cartels and Violence since the avocado industry in Mexico is so profitable, criminal cartels operating in Michoacan have been infiltrating the market. As rival factions compete for dominance of the avocado trade, violence and extortion have risen in the area. At first, cartels blackmailed producers, packers, and exporters, effectively charging them for the right to do business without interference. Recently, however, there has been a violent and brutal turf war. During 2019, the Jalisco New Generation Cartel murdered nine individuals in Uruapan, Michoacan's avocado distribution hub, before hanging their bodies from a municipal bridge. Seven additional corpses, along with a banner mocking the Viagras, were dumped along the side of a road. It has even been reported that gangs use drones to launch explosives as part of their attempt to dominate the economy of the area. What's behind the ban? An inspection crew from the USDA operating in Zirikoritero, a town adjacent to Uruapan, was robbed and threatened with bodily harm in 2019. It was later that year that the USDA issued a statement stating that if violence and intimidation continued against regulators, inspection efforts would be suspended. A temporary import embargo was announced following the most recent threat, citing this document. It served primarily as a warning but could be repeated in the future if cartels continue to threaten and extort health inspectors. In the event of a more permanent ban, more than 300,000 people would lose their jobs, causing severe civil unrest in Mexico. In response to the allegation that avocado cartels were responsible for the ban, Mexican President Andres Manuel López Obrador denied it. In addition, 
He attributed this behavior to undisclosed political motives in the United States and lobbying from other nations interested in the lucrative American avocado market. Despite American producers' objections, NAFTA allowed the United States to import Mexican avocados. In 1994, the United States sought to ship maize to Mexico under the terms of the Free Trade Agreement. In order to balance trade and commerce between the two nations, the Mexican government insisted on some quid pro quo in the form of agricultural exports. Avocados were the prime candidate. The latest disruption highlights the danger of relying so heavily on commodities originating from a single region in a single nation that, sadly, is filled with crime and corruption. Turning on an avocado faucet from another country, however, is not that simple. Only one avocado variety is popular in the United States, the Hass, which is sourced from Mexico. Despite the fact that Hass avocado imports from Peru and Colombia are permitted in the United States, wholesalers prefer not to sell them since they are regarded as of poorer quality. The Hass variety is also planted extensively in California, although American farmers cannot produce nearly enough of it to meet demand. There are many countries that grow greenskin avocados, but because of their textural differences and the fact that they don't change color when mature, they aren't as popular with customers. Greenskin avocados can reduce the United States' dependence on Mexican avocados. Even so, Americans are unlikely to stop eating Hass avocados produced in Michoacan unless they become more popular. Even though avocados may be controversial, their reputation as a creamy, tasty, and healthy food makes most people pass the guacamole and forget about politics. If you've liked videos like this, please subscribe to our channel to help us grow. Our goal is to become one of the leading channels on sharing our love for the great region of Latin America.